Hello everybody and welcome back to Sword Online Hollow Fragment. We are headed into all the requests from all the people. The like exclamation marks. And then off camera I will handle all the help me Kirito, you're my only hope. Thank you, Argo, for your time. Um So where are we starting? Oh, we'll start with whatever waits for us in the main room first. Agil it is. Uh, so that was... Do you have something for me? Something someone of your caliber find useful? Sorry, man, I'm clean out of... Wait. Oh, you got something for me after all. Not exactly, friend. Just a rumor, but word has a strange discoveries been made here on the 76th floor. Strange discovery? Some mysterious rock or something, I don't know. The story is no one's even been able to get close to it, so details are pretty sketchy. What if this guy to a quest somehow? Beats me. Besides, it's nothing but a rumor at this point, so who's to say? Thanks for telling me anyway, it might come in useful. Alright, I guess I'll see you around. Till next time, friend, I'll see if I can't rustle you up a mouthwater and deal in the meantime. Serious rock, huh? It's probably nothing. Besides, I've got my hands full enough as it is. So I assume no reason to go looking for it. Yeah, there's still a lot to do here. Um, yes. All right, Yui. Hey, Yui, isn't Asuna with you? She seems to have stepped out for the moment. Do you need her for something? No, it's nothing like that. I guess she must be busy with her duties for the Knights of the Blood Oath. I guess so. Say, Daddy, can I ask you a favor? It's about... Well, maybe you've already heard. They're saying there's this strange rock-like object that's been found on the outskirts of the 76th floor. Oh, that. Yeah, Eagle mentioned something about it. It's just, well, I'd really like you to take me there. Do you have some idea what it could be? Well, I'm not sure exactly, but I think it could be a kind of console used to gain access to SAO's system. If I play my cards, I might be able to use it to retrieve my full functionality. Of course, my rock could also end up being a total waste of time. You really think that's what it could be? Sounds intriguing, let's go check it out. But even if it is what I think, I'm still not sure it'll make me of any use to you. Put your worry in, Yui. I want, you to, I want just want to do something nice for you. Well, thank you, Daddy. Shall we head out? Although all I've heard is that it's found on this floor somewhere. Not to worry, I've got a rough idea of where it looks, so I should be able to guide us at least most of the way there. Glad to hear it. Alright, you, you're in charge. Lead the way. Sure thing. This isn't going to go horridly at all. Behind the labyrinth, eh? I didn't even know there was a behind. Must have been overlooking it this whole time. Over there, that's it. Let me see. Hmm, it's definitely a stone pedestal, alright. It's kind of like the one we found in the dungeon beneath the Black Iron Palace. You might just be right about it being a console. The one I found that time I said farewell to you and Mommy once, right? I was thinking exactly the same thing. Let's hurry over and take a look. No, Yui, wait! An enemy and a pretty fearsome looking one at that. Is it a boss monster? It certainly looks like one. It must have been placed here to stop anyone from getting too close to the console. Like in the hidden dungeon beneath the Black Iron Palace, remember? That thing was ridiculously strong. Got a nice feeling this one might be just as bad, maybe even tougher. Except this time, you, you don't have any special credentials, right? Maybe it's safer if you sat this one out. In fact, we might be better off giving up on this one altogether. What do you say, Yui? I guess you're right. Last thing I wanted to do is put you in any danger. It's a shame, but I suppose it can't be helped. This thing's really important to you, huh? Well, I, I mean, I can't be 100% sure, but I think... Alright, in that case, I guess it's worth a shot. It can't be that thing, there's only one of it after all. Tell you what, while I draw such, you run around behind it and operate the console. But Daddy, that's too dangerous. If it looks like it won't work, we can always fall back immediately. Luckily for us, it doesn't look like the fight's going to be constrained to a closed area like last time. This th The thing's big enough to see from here, so it should be an easy enough to formulate a strategy. I think I use the train to my advantage too. I'd say we're, th we're in with a shot, Yui. I'll be as quick as, pos as I possibly can. If you feel even the slightest bit of danger, retreat immediately, okay? The monster's duties to guard over the console should stop chasing once you get a certain distance away from it. Got it. You be careful too, okay? You're the one actually going near the console, so you'll hardly be out of danger yourself. Don't worry. If the monster comes after me, instead of you, I'll make sure to run away. Alright, Yui circle around behind the console. I guess now as good as time as any. First, let's see what happens when I approach the monster head-on. Grrrr! 
That seemed to grab his attention. Hey, this way, ugly. Okay, I brought it out a decent distance from the console. Time for you to do her thing. What? What the? How the hell is something that big so quick on its feet? No time to dodge. Hiya! This thing's easily as strong as that boss in the hidden dungeon, if not stronger. Just as well, I've grown the strength since then, too. So I expect if I focus entirely on defense, I should be able to hold it off for a little longer. Alright, Yui's made it to the console. Mm -hmm. Damn it, it spotted Yui. Did her tamper the console send out a signal to it somehow? Hey, ugly, I'm the one you're after, remember? Keep your eyes on me! Uh-oh, that might have done the trick a little too well. Damn. Cyclone attack stuff? This thing really isn't playing around. At least I don't have to fight it. I don't know how long I can keep this up. What the hell's taking Yui so long? Alright, there's Yui soon. She must have finally finished. Wish I could stay and dance really longer, pal. Maybe some other time. Are you alright, Daddy? I'll live. Just about. Not about me, though. Were you able to retrieve the abilities you were hoping for? I sure was. I'm still a long way from functioning at full capacity, though, so I don't know whether they'll be of any use. I tried to retrieve my full credentials while I was at it, but it didn't seem possible with that console. That's too bad. Still, so you managed to get what you came for, so mission accomplished. So, yeah, back face off against that huge oaf of a monster sent my appetite into overdrive. Okay, you deserve a feast after all that. Alright, we'll talk to Aegil again. Hmm, what are you all doing here? Oh, Kirito, we were just talking about hairstyles. Hairstyles? Like, what color would work well for my hair? I was thinking of getting it changed. Also, let me dye my hair with this color, but I've been wanting a style change for some time now. Now that you mention it, I did help you dye it. Well, I haven't changed it since then. And it's good to change things up every once in a while. Change is always positive. If I changed my hair color, I'd change my hairstyle, too. Yeah, maybe I'll make mine easier to handle so I can move better. Hey, hey, I like having Daddy trim my hair. Do you want a new hairstyle, Daddy? Me? Never really thought about it. Guess as long as it doesn't get in the way of what I'm fighting, it doesn't really matter what my hairstyle is. Come on, Kirito, how can you be so indifferent? That's kind of my specialty. Your hairstyle says a lot about what kind of person you are. It's super important. Like your bangs paint a totally different picture depending on their length. Sorry, Asuna. What kind of hairstyle do you like, Kirito? I see your game, so he want to know his favorite hairstyle so you can change yours to what he likes. I'm just curious, but I might decide later to try that style out, sure. Hmm, hairstyles, huh? Not really up to date on the latest hairstyles out there, but I guess I would have to say I like how Silica's hair is right now. Really? You like my hair? So that's what Kirito likes? Pigtails? It's not that I like that hairstyle, I'm just saying they suit Silica. So it's my hairstyle that you like? And I don't mean just Silica, I like Liz's, Philia's, and Asuna's too. You all look good with your hair just the way it is. It sounds a lot like you're just used to us all wearing our hair the way we do. I agree, that's exactly what he's saying. No, that's not really my... Okay, maybe I am saying that, but... Kirito, Silica is asking you an honest question. The least you can do is give her an honest answer. Didn't mean to offend anyone. Well, I think we all understand what you mean. Everyone's style is stuck in your head as being the best one. Girls spend hours and hours in front of a mirror trying to make themselves look good for guys, Kirito. She's right, Kirito. You need to be a bit more sensitive to our feelings. I've turned into their pet punching bag. Again. <laughs> then again, it's types like Kirito who fall the quickest for a girl who changes up her style, don't you think? Hmm, maybe I'll cut my hair short like Sinon's then. Silica, I think you look better the way you are now. <laughs> huh? You do, Sinon? I think this style's a little childish. There's just something about your hair that I really like. Oh, what about it? Try jumping on the spot where you are. Okay. Hey, hey. It's cute how it bobs from side to side. Huh? What do you mean? I think I get it. See how it likes when your pigtails bounce and sway this way and that. Yeah, it's like I can't stop staring at how it moves or something. The bounce move reminds me of a rabbit's ears flapping up and down. Now that you mention it, it is pretty noticeable. I had no idea. That's right, Leafa has her hair tied up too. She has a ponytail. Do you mind jumping up and down, Leafa? Sure, I'm um, like this. Your hair definitely bobs up and down. Oh, you look so cute. Ah. Leafa? Uh, I think her hair isn't the only thing bobbing up and down right now. Look somewhere else, I shouldn't look at this. 
Oh my, they're so ahem. Japan. Didn't realize they're buoyancy. <laughs> they're like two balloons. <laughs> Leafa, Leafa, stop. Your boobs are bouncing. Ah. Kirito. Not looking. Not looking. Why aren't any of you looking at my hair? Weren't you supposed to look at it bouncing? Well, some other bouncy things caught our attention at the same time. I can see where Kirito meant when he said bouncy things are noticeable. <laughs> Right? That's why if you change your hair so that you'll have no bad to catch people's attention. That's so mean, Sidon. <laughs> Great, now we're all gonna be obsessed with things that bounce. I just need to be careful I look at the harmless kind of bouncy when I look at Leafa. Well, there was a diversion for you. Klein. The main man himself. Yes! Yes! Oh yeah, awesome, that has something too. Let's get Klein's done. Bouncy. Yes. Yes. Ilya has one? Oh, it must be the hollow quest. Where is the main man that is Klein? The indomitable. There he is. Who is down that way? Oh, Elizabeth has a prompt, too. Klein the man. Hey there, Klein, what's up? You look pretty miserable. Oh, hey, Kirito. Listen to this. I paid for this tip that said there was a quest to learn an attack skill up on the 86th floor. Really? What kind of skill are we talking about here? An advanced weapon skill? Just listen, okay? So I went to see this old guy, and he kept talking and talking, but he wouldn't initiate the quest. What a total waste. Why not? Didn't you meet the requirements? What did he talk about, anyway? But how he used to be a legendary warrior in his day it was so long and boring I've forgotten most of it. There was something about taking out a dragon's eye and some amazing marksmanship. Maybe the quest got to do with throwing weapons. But lots of players have throwing skills and I haven't heard them talk about a quest. Hmm, that's interesting. Think you know what's going on here, Kirito? I might. I'll be sure to let you know if I initiate that quest, Klein. Hey, wait a second, where are you going? I'm right about this quest and I've got to go find Sinon. This quest is particular to Sidon. Make sure only she finds out. Find her in her room. We'll get to there. Hi, Liz. I'm going to go talk to you over here. <laughs> Hi, Kirito. We were able to make that quest weapon. We got all the items we need, didn't we? The Lelakite or the Sacred Inferno and Volander's Hammer. Yeah, but the last part of the manuscript is missing. You know that ripped page right at the end? Take a look. Oh, we're not done Volander's Hammer. Like, we got the hammer and made a legendary web, but we're not done. The Blacksmith Warrior must. I wonder what comes after that part. Now, if I to make an educated guess, it'd be the Blacksmith of the Warrior must get married. Um, I know it's a rare special weapon, but that seems like a pretty unreasonable condition. I very much doubt that the Blacksmith can only make the weapon for their husband or wife. Well, I said it was an educated guess. More of a joke, really. Yeah, a joke. Ha ha ha. Uh, okay. Uh, but we're not gonna get far speculating. We need to make the weapon to see what happens. Got it. Leave that to me. I'm gonna get started right away. I'll need to be focused, so if you could just stand there and be quiet. Am I getting another awesome weapon from her? What was I thinking coming up with something like that? The Blacks of the Warrior need to be married? How could I come up with something so crazy? Anyway, Kirito's taken. I've got no chance. Poor Elizabeth. This is just like me to start thinking so to think something so stupid at a time like this. I just can't help remembering the time he looked me in the eye and told me I'd saved his life. He must have feelings for me. Why else would he look at me like that? Why? I mean, in so many dangerous situations, why is it the only things I keep thinking about are those happy memories? Um, Liz? Everything okay? There's no need to be nervous. If you make a mistake, I can just get more ore for you. Mistake? Yeah, even if you make one, it's okay. I'm not going to make a mistake. Never. Um, Liz? The swing of this samurai will reach the apex of my career as a blacksmith. I shall forge a masterpiece that will even surpass your old sword, the Dark Repulsor. I replaced that a while ago. Liz? Be quiet. Okay, I'll let you get on with it. Kirito, I care about you so much. I don't just mean I like you. It's so much more than that. I thought it'd be wrong to fall for you, so I tried to stop myself. But there's no getting around it. I've fallen for you. I'm in love with you, Kirito. 
All this time we spent together has made me so happy. But now I'll never have you all to myself. That just can't happen. Poor Liz. I can't hold you back. You got so many places to go and so many things to do. But I can give you one thing, a final gift. My masterpiece. The sword was forged by someone who cares only for you. I can feel Liz's passion. She's so intense, so committed. As if she's fighting for her life. No, it's more like she's a skilled warrior fighting to defend the things she loves. Yours glowing. With each swing of the hammer, it glows brighter. I've seen weapons forged before, but I've never seen anything quite like this. It's ready. Take it, Kirito. It's yours. My masterpiece. Right. It's so heavy. I'll, it'll take all my strength just to wield it. As you step back, I want to try out a few sword skills. Sure. Go ahead. Here goes. Yeah! How is it? This is incredible. No, that doesn't do it justice. Look at the way it rests in my hand, the way it moves with me. It's almost like a part of me. My sword looks satisfied with it. Of course, the sword is everything I could ever wish for. I'm glad to hear that. Well, it's yours. You don't have to pay me now. Are you sure? Of course I am. But I do charge interest, so you'd better hurry up and clear the game. Oh, come on. I helped you find the items. You gotta be some kind of discount. I'm not sure about that. My weapons don't come cheap, you know? Okay, well, how about this? We can discuss it once we get back to the real world. Agree, but that means you've got to fight hard and help us get back there. And once we make it back, you have to come see me, got it? Well, I'll come and see you right away. I wouldn't want you to charge any more interest, would I? Okay, then. It's agreed. The Lingering Heart. Well, that's the legendary one I just made. So it's got to beat that one. I'm going to take a quick picture of it. <laughs> To make sure that it's better, because I don't want to not end up using it. Okay. Damage value is lower, attack delay is lower. It's got better attack. Uh, it is better. It does lower my accuracy a bit, but I'm going to try to pump it up here. Whoop, let's see if I can't improve it. Enhance. And it's the Lingering Heart. Let's up its accuracy game. We want to get my accuracy... I need more river ore to do more accuracy enhancement. I could up its agility stat, but no, we'll wait. Hopefully, uh, that is worth it. I don't know, the one I made her make with the suit she got Baldur's Hammer is way better. Uh, we're not done this video though. Let's go and talk to. Let's go talk to Sidon. Let's follow that prompt through. Be back to talk to you later, honey. Sinon, are you here? I need you to come with me. What's the big panic? Aren't we going to train at the usual place? I'll explain everything later, but you have to come with me now. 
Hmm, where's that old man? Ah, there he is. Could you go talk to him, Sinon? Huh? Why do I need to talk to this guy? He's got a skill learning quest that nobody's been able to initiate yet. Some people think it's got to do with throwing weapons, but I think it's about sniping. Huh? Alright, I'll try talking to him. Um, hello there, sir. Ah, there you are. Got a parcel for me, have you? Um, I'm not a postman. You're not? Oh, I know, you're Maria from the Bakers. My, haven't you grown? Now, I haven't told you this story yet, have I? Thirty years ago, I was a mighty warrior. What is this nonsense? I said this might take a while, but I think it's better to sit tight and listen. Man, these RPGs sure are annoying. <laughs> And my hero flew right into its eye. Into its right eye. The end. I didn't miss anything, did I? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm not trying to show off. The point is, you need to prove you're worthy of inheriting my skill. And to do so, you need to fetch the trial amulet from a dungeon on this floor. You'll need this key to get to it. Bring the amulet back once you've required it. So, did I do okay, Kirito? You did great, and I was right about the player needing a sniping skill to initiate the quest. So if we clear this quest, I'll become a better archer, right? You bet. Clear this quest and you'll get an advanced sniping skill, mark my words. Oh, great. Looks like it was worth listening to all that boring stuff after all, huh? Wah! What's the matter? Why are you reacting like that? Oh, it's just your face is really close right now. It gave me real shock. Oh, uh... Right, this floor's quest dungeon is north of the labyrinth, so let's stock up on potions and head over there right away. Sure thing. Oh, I am now... on the 86th floor's dungeon. Okay, so... I will take Sinon and do that in the following episode, and then we'll talk to Asuna. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.